Hey everybody, it's your boy Joey here. And you got pal Avalon. We are Geek House, and this is not our video. No, <laughs> this belongs to somebody else. And I'm Electric. Green Smash! I was ah! almost so scared I was gonna drop like the drink and like, <laughs> spill. Oh my god, fuck! And what? Oh, I should have lifted my hands. You could have dived onto my lap. <gasps> what? Try again? So Wait, hold on. Oh, whoa! No, 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 no! I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Ready? 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 Green Smash! <laughs> it worked. It looked natural. <laughs> yes. Welcome. To our first ever game night. Hey. This is an electrified board game night tonight. Oh my gosh. Still not my name. Or not my decision to name that. That's fine though. <laughs> That's All right. You can look creative when you're old age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys voted. The people have spoken. And you spoke Cards Against Humanity. Uh, and in case you don't know who we are, we're also YouTubers. We have a channel. No, we're not. Go subscribe to them, That's by the way. They're amazing people. We it's called Geek House. We're with Geek House, yes. Our first collaboration. Yes. What? Yeah, you're a first feel so special. I didn't know that. Oh. Well, officially, that's something from our... Yeah. You know, we set, we set the record for being the first uh, in-person reaction with fandom, too. Yes. Yeah. So we're playing Cards Against Humanity. Yes! What you guys voted for. Stay tuned to check out Patreon for the next month's voting for what the board game night will be. We probably will have more nights like this with Geek House, but they're the first. Yes. Yay! Works for us. Let us know we what like you this. guys think of this. If you want us to continue with this, maybe. If you guys have any uh, suggestions for another board game or card game. <laughs> I want to get out of the way right now. This game is highly offensive. I do not actually believe any of the horrible stuff I'm going to be playing. Disclaimer. We are not... Like, the... Oh, oh, oh. Avalon's a terrible person. I, <laughs> other than her. That's true. <laughs> other than her, we don't really believe what we're playing. Officially we don't. the worst. <laughs> there what was you... a poll. People voted. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we're just going to vote in. So someone is going to be the card czar. They will play the first black card. The black card will have a prompt on it that will um, encourage people to play a certain number of white cards. They will put down their white cards. It's kind of like apples to apples. Um, the but cards are will read the white cards with the black card, and they will choose uh, whatever appeals to them most. If it's the funniest, if it's the most offensive, if it whatever they think is best, yeah. the most feels for them. <laughs> and you will collect that black card, and the first person to a predetermined amount of black cards will be deemed the winner and officially the most offensive person in the room. I think we Sounds should good. probably just play until the battery starts running down, then whoever has the most wins. Okay. Good. Fair enough. Alrighty then. Uh, you can also, uh, there are some rules we're going to do. Well, yes, not do right. We will be introducing Rando Card Ristian, which is a house rule. Like I said, it normally I tried. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> where in, uh, we will add a random... A group of white cards or a singular white card depending on the black card to the group and if that rando uh, wins the the card uh, because uh, the cards are chooses that and nobody claims the cards because they were randos rando will get the black card and if rando beats all of us we all go home in shame we commit seppuku yeah <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Wait, what, what's the guy? What's the black? Rando, Car Rando. Rando, Car no. Rando Cardrissian. What do you What do you keep saying? The cards are. The cards are. The, yeah. the person who reads the black card is called the cards are. I did not know yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Also, at Actually, any point. I at one point made like a fuzzy round hat so I could be the, yeah. the cards are. Also, um, you can at any point discard a black card to completely discard your hand and draw a new one. Oh. So. I forgot it's all of your cards. I thought it was no, just one. You have to, uh, well, no, um, yeah, you, you discard your hand. You can't be like, I want to get rid of these cards. And once again, disclaimer, we do not, all the cards that we will be playing <laughs> and the things that we find humorous in the game do not reflect our actual views in real life and what our beliefs and opinions are. Yeah, yes. it's called a card game for yes. normal people. So, yes. so right now, we're going to be horrible people. Um, it's your video, your yes. channel, mm -hmm. so I recommend one of you start as the cards are. I guess it's me. All He's, right. He gives me that look like... You know the look. <laughs> it's the look. It's like a side tilt like, go ahead. Ow! <laughs> just pull. Uh, so we'll start here and then we'll move this way. Yeah. We'll go... Uh, oh, ladies uh, first. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out that blank man was neither the hero we needed nor wanted. You guys got Batman man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone put your stack of cards right here. Uh, this is going to be Rando Cardrissian, so make sure to shuffle them before you read them. Okay. 
Oh, oh, shit! That would have been so good. Okay, turns out that being on Fireman was <laughs> <laughs> neither the hero we needed nor wanted. Should I try to do it like the Batman voice? So, no, just make okay. it legible. Yes. <laughs> turns out that growing a pear man was neither the hero we needed nor wanted. <laughs> Wow! Turns out the Virginia Tech Massacre Man was no. the only hero we needed nor wanted. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, welcome. Guardian yeah. Humanity. Turns out that just the tip man <laughs> <laughs> was neither the... Who was just the tip? Well, that, was, that, one that one won? That one won. That was you? Oh yeah, it was. I was being on fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Alright, nice. What uh, were you? Were you? What were you? The yeah, the knew it. <laughs> that was the closest. This is the one. worst, most offensive card. Probably ours. Night on Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and Dean are forced to confront Blank using only Blank. That's what those are. Tonight on Supernatural, Sam and Dean are forced to confront blowing some dudes in an alley using <laughs> only bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight on Supernatural, Sam and Dean are forced to confront. Vigorous jazz hands using only tongue. <laughs> <laughs> well, see now, tongue was the answer. Was the second one on that one? Blowing some music alley using only tongue. That one would have been really. Cool. Oh. That would have been clever. <laughs> yeah. But tonight on Supernatural, Sam and Dean are forced to confront an all midget production of Shakespeare's Richard the Third using only words, words, words. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, you were making eye contact, so I kind of went with it. Mm. Sorry about that. Okay. Tonight on Supernatural, Sam and Dean are forced to confront Robert Downey Jr. using only being awesome at sex. <laughs> but who would be having sex, Sam or Dean? Well, Sam and Dean. Oh. I'm forced to confront. Oh, That's together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just clarify. No. Like. Who won? I gotcha. Okay. All right. I just, I wasn't sure if you needed to clarify it because there was the knees joke and that took me out. <laughs> I really like the Shakespeare's, but pouring some dudes in an alley, I don't know. I feel like that's more likely to happen on Supernatural though. So we're going to go with an all major production <laughs> of Shakespeare. Oh, man. I read it to you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you read mine right to my face. I'm glad all to right. know I was second. It's doing... Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Supernatural lately. She has. Actually, she was marathoning it all yesterday. Wow. All right. Not a good thing. <laughs> During his midlife crisis, my dad got really into blank. Get it? All right. During his midlife crisis, my dad got really into natural male enhancement. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. That's probably pretty common. Uh, <laughs> yeah. During his midlife crisis, my dad got really into apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, during his midlife crisis, my dad got really into getting drunk on mouthwash. <laughs> wow. Uh, during his midlife crisis, my dad got really into pronouncing quinoa properly, which is the proper way to pronounce quinoa. Um, I thought it was quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> is that how they pronounce it up in Canada? <laughs> yes. Um, Sorry. Natural enhancement. Oh. Random. Random. You should stack it up by Batman. Yiko. Yeah, Batman is random. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Studies show that lab rats navigate mazes 50% faster after being exposed to blank. <laughs> you know what's good when he, like, you giggle? And <laughs> giggle? You <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you're going to. Is that a various laughter? Yes. Yeah. Studies show that lab rats navigate mazes 50% faster after being exposed to Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> All right. After being exposed to 50,000 volts straight to the nipples. Oh! That could uh, possibly <laughs> Tiny be Tiny mouse nipples. <laughs> <laughs> exposed to Hillary Clinton's death stare. <laughs> uh, exposed to Adderall. <laughs> God, all right. <laughs> oh man. Oh. No, hold Hi, well. kitty. That's not, you're not invited. <laughs> um. <laughs> now just come back angrier. If you strike me down, <laughs> I will we'll become more powerful than each other. Yeah, see? Oh my god! <laughs> I will <laughs> not. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> that is very unusual. Gosh. Right. On okay. that, okay. Uh, on that note. Adderall? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad you're very excited about that. <laughs> Hobo is just overstimulated with all the peoples. 
Blank would pay what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Blank would play me in a movie. Darth Vader would play me in a movie. <laughs> Arguably, that's Brianna. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> The violation of our most basic human rights. <laughs> Who played me in the movie? I had to process that one real quick. Alright. So try. Can I help you? What are you doing? The Kool-Aid Man would play me in a movie. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh no. He does smash oh, no. things. Yes. That's my retainers. Please don't eat that. Don't lick that. I need to put that in my mouth. <laughs> That either. <laughs> Hot cheeks. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Would play me. Oh yeah. <laughs> As I said, she was trying to find the place. Where can I lie? <laughs> that bothers everybody. Hot cheese. Yeah! Oh yay! yay! I thought that was gonna be random. This yeah. card. I wow. got a card. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, I'm saving that for Brittany. It's my favorite card for just some unknown reason. It's just my favorite card. You can't deny the queso. Exactly. <laughs> it's because it goes the best with the popcorn at the movie theater. It's so good. Seriously, it's it delicious. Should, it shouldn't be. I know. That's what I do when I'm with your sister at the movies. I talk on the internet for a living. Yes. Um, I'm sorry, Professor, but I couldn't complete my homework because of blank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor, but I couldn't complete my homework because of parting the Red Sea. <laughs> Let my people go. No. That's actually That's a, a euphemism for your period. That's what I'm about to say. Whoa! Um, yeah. Well, that doesn't have to be that in that. <laughs> also, yeah. it's like just like being visited by Aunt Flo. That's another uh -huh. term for it. <laughs> your period. The blood plague. The, yeah, the oh. blood moon is another good one. <laughs> oh, Tom. It was like Tom came by for the month. Yeah. Is that what you call it? I call it blood plague. Nah, I try to be more discreet. Like, nah, Tom came by for the month. Uh, I cannot complete my homework because of Roland the farter, flatulist to the king. It's uh, very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, being a flatulist. Yes. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry, professor, but I couldn't complete my homework because of the mere concept of Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Keeps me up at night. Yes. <laughs> Thinking wow. about Applebee's. Applebee's. That two for twenty deal got me fucked up, man. Yes. <laughs> How do you do it? How do they make money? How does it work? I'm gonna go with flying robots that kill people. Is that? Hmm? Flying robots that kill people? Random. Bueller? Random. Bueller? <laughs> Robo. Batman. A romantic candlelit dinner would be incomplete. Without blank. Oh, boy. <laughs> Give us a glimpse into your love life. Wait, what do you got? <laughs> Is Rando? <laughs> damn it. I'm going for accurate. Tell us what your subscribers want Gosh, to know. Gosh damn it! <laughs> Just as a note, like I'm shooting for an accurate portrayal of our love wow, life. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> oh. Alright, All right. um, a romantic candlelit dinner would be incomplete without... Whipping it out. <laughs> Dang it. A romantic candlelit dinner would be incomplete without Raptor Jesus. <laughs> what? A romantic candlelit dinner would be incomplete without authentic Mexican cuisine. That's we live in San Diego. Yep. That is the way it yep. works. Mm -hmm. Give me more heart chocolate. Yes, oh. a mic. I prefer mic. Yes. That's my routine. A romantic candlelit dinner for two would be incomplete without the entire internet. <laughs> wow, what the heck? Is that your car? <laughs> trying to sell that hard or something? <laughs> Whipping it out is the funniest. Uh, authentic <laughs> Mexican cuisine is the most accurate to my relationship. Followed by the entire internet. The entire internet, because it's funny, because we're all YouTubers. Yeah. So it's the entire internet. It's very hard to have dinner without the phone. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm going with whipping it out because it's the funniest. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Whoa! Is that really random? <laughs> He's I, feeding us! I was yours the entire internet? internet? Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. 
<laughs> Miss, I got to log on to ARCs while we're in the middle of dinner. I'm sorry. Right, um, like, oh, oh, excuse I'm joking, me. I'm You're joking. on your phone just I'm as teasing. much. I was teasing. Oh, who? Right, um, we would mess with you a lot less if you just went anywhere else. Yeah. Anywhere else. Okay. Oh, oh, you're so put upon. Oh, my God. <laughs> All your problems would go away. <laughs> you, Michael. <laughs> Michael Bay's new three-hour action epic pits okay. blank against blank. <clears throat> the three-hour action epic pits wielding a toddler as a weapon versus black people. Okay. Wow. Wow. Uh, pits Ryan Gosling riding on a white horse against self-loathing. <laughs> You Gosling. never you realize you'll never be as cool as Ryan Gosling <laughs> yes, on a white horse. This epic pits Kanye friends. West against a foul mouth. And himself against himself. Yeah. <laughs> pits Kanye against Kanye. Whipping a disobedient slave against a big black dick. <gasps> Why? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so these two are Julian Avalon. Because <laughs> they're the white <laughs> this, this is Britney's. That's Mr. Randos. <laughs> what makes you think that? Because I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in mind to know. Mm. Um, I do. Um, um, <laughs> God, it's so... I need before you guys start filming. The wielding a toddler. Oh, oh man, so. I didn't want to win for that one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's you just... were right, I was kind of I know. <laughs> How'd you know? Were you the big black dick? I was. I knew yes, you were the big exactly. black dick. How did like, you know? Like I was know looking at my and big nothing black else dick? even made some kind of sense. I'm like, I don't want to play these ones. <laughs> I... Yeah, I didn't really have I mean, like most of my cards are kind of like me, and I was like, you know, Let's this go is offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. To I'm determined not to be Canadian. It puts video. the lotion on its skin and blank. It puts the lotion on its skin and my humps. <laughs> my lovely lady humps. It puts the lotion on its skin and binging and purging. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Took quite yeah, a, a serious bit. turn. Oh dear. All right. No, it puts the lotion on its more, skin right? and child beauty pageants. No. <laughs> what? Magneto, one of our cats, he always gets so excited when there's food, he'll eat really fast and throw up. So we always make a joke and he's the bulimic kitty. Oh. It's oh. so sad. <laughs> Puts the lotion on its skin and the juice. Oh. I'm going to go with my humps. Oh my god! <laughs> Call the law offices of Goldstein and Goldstein because no one should have to tolerate blank in the workplace. <laughs> Oh, dear goodness. Been there, huh? <laughs> yeah? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man, I could play some really fucked up cards. I played a really this. bad one. Oh, I mean, I can't play any cards for this, but I could play some really fucked up cards for this. All right. Call the law offices of Goldstein and Goldstein because no one should have to tolerate becoming a blueberry in the workplace. <laughs> Willy Wonka. <laughs> You're turning violet, violet. <laughs> Call the losses of Goldstein and Goldstein because no one should have to tolerate the gays in the workplace. Oh, no. Whoa! Whoa! Alex. <laughs> <laughs> All the law offices of Goldstein and Goldstein because no one should have to tolerate Justin Bieber in the workplace. Canada agrees they don't want him back. I've heard. <laughs> Call the law offices of Goldstein and Goldstein. So I've been told, not that I know, because... Obviously, I'm not Canadian or anything. Because no one should have to tolerate passive-aggressive post-it notes in the workplace. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I'm good at this. I'm going to go with becoming a blueberry, because that shit is fucked. That's Batman. Batman! Because oh. that nothing else good. All right, time to go. You were the case? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't let that one win on principle. All right. Cat. War. What is it good for? Absolutely what is it good nothing. for? That's the card. I guess sing all of them. Nope. Maybe. Possibly. Because I might play depending on no. Yeah. No. Hey, stop. Cat. No. Stop. Cat. No. Cat. 
War. What is it good for? White privilege. <laughs> wow. 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 God. True, but wow. All right. War. What is it good for Shaquille O'Neal's acting career? I. Mm, it's not worth no. it. War. Not worth it. What is it good for One Ring to Rule Them All? Yes. <laughs> Damn it. War. What is it good for drinking 10 5 hour energies to get 50 continuous hours of energy? <laughs> that's actually the military super soldier program. They just give you five. They just give you no, uh, that's just 10 5 hour energy. Regular drinks. Day. That's true. Yeah. Um, man. It's between white privilege and one ring to rule them all. Basically white privilege because true. <laughs> one ring to rule them all because geek. Nerd. Are you going to go with geek or house? Wow. <laughs> white privilege. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Did you not like white privilege? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Wow. Hey, what is your what is your damage? Perfect way to uh, follow up white privilege. White people like blank. White, white privilege. I saw someone play white privilege. I saw someone play white people, which was a really good white one. Like white. Yeah. Every answer. I just go with the one I think is funny, not always the most fucked up. White people like yoga pants. Well. Oh, wow. So true. <laughs> white people like selling out. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Too true. We're not going to talk about my yoga pants collection. White people like the TARDIS. That's, yeah. That's they, not right. I mean, that England. Doctor Who. That's from That's, Doctor Who, right? I, have, yeah. I don't watch it. It's Doctor Who. Okay. White people like Bono. Just Bono. <laughs> <laughs> The wording. Yeah. The oh, wording is yeah. like hard. Bono. Bono. Yeah, yeah. Just Bono. You're lucky it's a word of Oh like my that. god, that's. Is that the winner? So yeah. That's me! You're lucky. <laughs> that's what I thought. I'm like, okay, that's too good. <laughs> yeah. What was second? Selling out. Damn it! Ah. Uh, Yoga pants, I'm sorry. It's I, too true. Too many white artists. So, yoga pants. <laughs> yoga pants. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> pumpkin spice. It's so delicious. Uh, pumpkin spice is delicious. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> like, not ironically. I enjoy pumpkin spice. <laughs> you are the Sahar. Uh, You're the Sahar. The you did blank with blank in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You did tickling Sean Hannity even after he tells you to stop? With suicidal thoughts in your mouth? <laughs> uh, in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> Random. You, <laughs> you, did, yeah, yeah, it's like right. <laughs> you did grape robbing with Pabst Blue Ribbon in your mouth? What is that? Pabst like Blue Ribbon is like super oh. cheap beer. It's very cheap beer. Hipsters love it. It's the hipster or trailer trash beer. Hipster. I like that. Hipsters or traders. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Speaking as a hipster. <laughs> you did elderly Japanese Japanese men with <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris in your mouth? <laughs> like all of him in your mouth? No. Oh, or I, don't just... think, I don't think that's what that's hinting at. Ah. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on over there. Remember the knees. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> She didn't remember the knees. <laughs> I know, I remember the knees. <laughs> I love, I love teasing her about that. You <laughs> did soup that is too hot with scalping in your mouth? Maybe reverse that? That sounds pretty funny if you reverse it. Okay. You did scalping with soup that is you, too hot in your mouth? Okay, you did scalping <laughs> with soup that is too hot in your mouth? Oh, that'd be kind of horrible. Yes. <laughs> well, I think doing scalping... In would general. always be horrible. <laughs> 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 with burning your mouth all day. <laughs> <laughs> suicidal thoughts. That was me. Wow. I was just trying to get rid of two cards. Wow. <laughs> like, these don't make any sense, but I want to get rid of them. I'm saying that the grave robbing will drink. Hot soup. Scalping. Oh, yes. Blank. High five, bro. Oh. Mad hacky sack skills. High five, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. That tickle you? Okay. <laughs> Bill Nye the Science Guy. High five, bro. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Oh, are you watching this new show on Netflix? Bill Nye Saves the World? It's really good. It's really oh, it's good. so good. It's really good. It's so fun. Bill Nye's the greatest. He talks about like different kind of science issues going on and then how we fix it. It's pretty good. He's delightful. And he yells a lot, which makes me happy. <laughs> he's a lot angrier nowadays. Oh, that's <laughs> what he really is. But he's the happiest angry man I've ever seen. 
Next. Right. Sorry. Uh, Michael. Mich Ooh, that's not Michael. Michelle Bachman furiously masturbating with a coat hanger. High five, bro. Oh. That sounds really painful. <laughs> How do you? I guess it have to be metal. <laughs> yeah, this plastic one can really get it up there. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Just <laughs> 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 like, just like next. <laughs> Having shotguns for legs. High five, bro. Just every time you walk. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a movie where that's a thing. It's like a Quentin Tarantino oh, film. Oh, yeah. Where it's just she's got shotgun legs. Was that machete? No, that was uh, Grand House. Machine gun legs. Mm. Grand House. Uh, Tarantino only directed a couple scenes in that. It was mostly um, Robert Rodriguez. The scene. Oh, yeah. Or was it a Quentin Tarantino movie that had a couple Robert Rodriguez scenes? One or the other. Mm. That hacky sack skills or Bill Nye the Science Guy? <laughs> Gotta go with Bill Nye the Science Guy. <laughs> Bill Nye? Oh, God. Bill Nye oh. the Science Guy? Random. Pat me on! Oh, my God. His face, though, when you're like... It's between this and this, and he just goes, Oh, oh my god, <laughs> Hey, baby, come back to my place, and I'll show you blank. I feel like you've used this line. Baby, come back to my place, and I'll show you a cooler full of organs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, I have heard that line before. Hey, baby, come back to my place, and I'll show you catastrophic urethral trauma. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, wonderful. Hey, baby, come back to my place, and I'll show you Mitt Romney doing a burlesque routine in a giant champagne glass. <laughs> I believe it. No. Hey, baby, come back to my place, and I'll show you the chronic. <laughs> <laughs> Cooler full of organs. Yes. <laughs> in your that face, Rando. very closely by catastrophic urethral trauma. Yes, I was worried. <laughs> Well, you should That's generally right. be worried when catastrophic urethral trauma <laughs> is involved. Yes, very true. Okay. The votes are in. Oh, that's nice. The votes are in, and the new high school mascot is... Two! How many's Rando at? You have three. Oh, well, you and I are tied. Yes, he's at five. Oh, we Rando. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta make a comeback. We, we gotta three, four, five. We need to Don't call a it a comeback. The high school mascot is Rufy's. <laughs> Excuse me. That's pretty uh, to illustrate. Normal. No, this is normal for us, yeah. The new high school mascot is the hardworking Mexican. El Capitan de Arcaro. El Capitan de Arcaro. El Capitan de The new high school mascot is coat so hanger abortion. Say that's accurate. Ooh, dark. <laughs> <laughs> the new high school mascot is being born with a tail. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a guy walking around the tail. Ugh, the hardworking Mexican. Yay! Dang it. Of course, of I course. You. I love you too. It's got a long one. Not words. <laughs> words! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of blank has denied your request for blank. Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of Natalie Portman has denied your request for dying. <laughs> oh, poor Natalie Portman. No, Natalie, not today. Not today. <laughs> Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the office of the placenta has denied your request for dead babies. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. That took a serious oh, turn. Wow. Oh, right. See then. Well, the I don't know why I started. Well. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we know what the placenta <laughs> is. I started reading all these in like an accent. <clears throat> She's committed now. Dear sir or madam, we, request, we regret to re inform you that, <laughs> that the office of a monkey so smoking a cigar has denied your request for the Harlem Go Globetrotters. It's a basket. I know with the best. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them live when I was a little kid. Oh, wow. It was really fun. Because yeah. he's old enough for that. I think they still play. They still play. Well, play. They perform. Yeah. Well. Right. But it was super fun. I was making an age joke. Yeah, I know. Oh. 
I'm rude. Dear, <laughs> oh. Dear sir or madam, we regret to inform you that the Office of Shapeshifters has denied your request for world peace. <laughs> <laughs> That's like InfoWars conspiracy theory stuff right there. With Natalie. Gosh dang it, it's always <laughs> you! No, it's not. Yes, it is! Babies would have been me. So. Oh yeah, babies was next. Whoops. I learned the hard way that you can't cheer up a grieving friend with blank. I learned the hard way that you can't cheer up a grieving friend with lumberjack fantasies. Oh you just, darn. You can't do it. Lumberjack fantasies, just don't pull them out of it. Mm -hmm. No, nope. never have. I learned the hard way that you can't cheer up a grieving friend with pretending to have the hiccups. That cheers nobody up. <laughs> nobody wins when you pretend hiccups. Serious crimes are pretending that you're yeah. losing Hicc oxygen. Man, I hate hiccups. <laughs> Unrelated note, hiccups are the worst. I sound like a chihuahua when I have hiccups. I, it, shoot, it kills Can me. Can confirm. Oh. Can confirm? Can confirm. Very serious. I learned the hard way that you can't cheer up a grieving friend with not reciprocating oral sex. That's true. That does <laughs> not cheer them up. No. If you're grieving a friend is oral sex and you reciprocate. <laughs> I would say, this is a PSA, what is this? Yeah. The Just more you know. <laughs> <laughs> I learned the hard way you can't cheer up a grieving friend with Keanu Reeves. That's a lie. <laughs> Stop lying. I mean, yeah. he is a very sad man. It's true. Man, there are some things in here that definitely would not cheer up a grieving friend. Um, I do think lumberjack fantasies would cheer anybody up, though. I'm a big fan of flannel. I feel like that's a dangerous thing to admit on a video on the internet. That's gonna come back to Too haunt me. Too late now. It's yeah. gonna come back to haunt me. Oh, it's hard to bear. Too late now. Uh, let's go with not reciprocating oral sex. Yay! That's just rude. Just rude. Rude. Don't yeah. do it, especially if there's. Yeah, children. Alex! Dang it, love of flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what man. was no, one. No, seriously, I read a lot of uh, Scottish romance novels, so I'm a big fan of the. Uh, it's weird. On my flag. breaks, I read, like, I read like Western. Western romance novels? Yeah. Uh, man, the Scottish ones are so good, though, because they do the Highland Brogue thing, and like, oh, <sighs> Muscular men in plaid. <laughs> well, that's not me. What was the one, <laughs> what was one of the rejected flavors for Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans? What was one of the rejected flavors for Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans? The Blood of Christ. It's all triggered. Oh! <laughs> they like wine, strangely enough. What was one of the rejected flavors for Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans? A good sniff. <laughs> kind of tastes like the uh, rotten fish one. What was the? What was ah. one of the rejected flavors for Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans? Dorito breath. <laughs> <laughs> what was one of the rejected flavors for Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Beans? One trillion dollars. Blood of Christ. I'm sorry, Lord. I have sinned. Oh. <sighs> I just it was. It I was didn't like, think that was gonna be you. It was fucked up enough. I was like, it has to. Tonight on 2020. What you don't know. About oh about blank could kill you, so what you don't know about blank? Right. What you don't know about Italians <laughs> could kill you. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a reason they do this. <laughs> talk with what hands. you don't know about concealing a boner could kill you. <laughs> 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 what you don't know about German dungeon porn could kill you. <laughs> do not try this at home. <laughs> what you don't know about wet dreams. Could kill you. Oh my god. <laughs> those are all pretty these, solid. These, uh. I can't do, I can't do these. Because these ones. Just the. Just like Bono. Just, yeah. Concealing the Bono. I'm climbing up. You're making a comeback. Making a comeback. Started at the She's bottom, now we're here. Are you Italian? She's coming up, so you better get that party started. Were you Italian? Uh, <laughs> yeah. okay. I knew it. I'm not Italian. When Pharaoh remained unmoved, Moses called down a plague of blank. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm worried about that random I love context. Yeah, good card. card. Oh, oh my God, God, really? It's so dumb. I want to play it, but it's stupid. When Pharaoh remained unmoved, Moses called down a plague of farting and walking away. 
<laughs> when the Pharaoh remained unmoved, Moses called down a plague of genetically, genetically engineered super soldiers. That's, a, that's, that's a pretty plague. bad. Yeah. That's a scary plague. They can destroy a city. Okay. A, a, a whole nation. A plague of Captain Americas. Yes. I don't think I'd be upset about a plague of Captain Americas. Unless oh, it's like Bucky. You don't think you'd be upset about it, eh? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, when Pharaoh remained unmoved, Moses called down a plague. I keep doing that. A plague of not having sex. Wow. It's called a dry spell. <laughs> a drought, if you will. <laughs> wow! A drought! It's <laughs> actually pretty fucking good. She's selling you on it. Stop it! <laughs> No, stop laughing! <laughs> Is that your card? No. Wow! <laughs> but it was a really good joke. Oh! It's Rallis! It's a big fucking trick! He's selling you on it, stop it! No, stop laughing! We draw an extra. No, you draw two cards. Oh, okay. And then you pick three cards. Okay. Um, and that will be clear because I'm gonna read it. So again, you know, bottom to top. Um, I went from blank to blank, all thanks to blank. Nutri system. I went from blank to blank, all thanks to blank. I went from cuddling to medieval times dinner and tournament, all thanks to sunshine and rainbows. Damn. Yes, this is my life. <laughs> It's not a bad representation of it, actually. Ooh. Okay. I went from edible underpants to breaking out into song and dance, all thanks to a salty surprise. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it's pretty promiscuous. You know. You have salty it. surprises. <laughs> They're salty. Get you out of your edible underpants and into song and dance. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. Wow. That. Got a rhyme scheme that. going on. Yeah. I went from flesh-eating bacteria to a balanced breakfast, all thanks to Christopher Walken. Oh, thank you, Mr. Walken. No, go. No, go. I'm not doing it. Doing what? My Christopher Walken impersonation. I haven't <gasps> done it like two years. Can you please? No. Please. Nope. Please. Nope. Uh-huh. Just for me? That's legitimately good. <laughs> that was a really good impersonation. We used to tell really, really bad jokes in Mickey Mouse voices when I worked at Oh, no. I went from Vikings to Stormtroopers, all thanks to swooping. By the way, if you Google swooping, the, the definition is secretly Googling the word swooping while playing cards against humanity. That is the Urban Dictionary definition of swooping. We found that out because that's what we did. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. No one really knows what swooping yeah. is. <laughs> just, I'm going to go with cuddling and medieval times tournament because that is my life. Is that Batman? Wow. 
Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. I was walk in. Stormtroopers. Dang. This is Batman. Damn! Fucking Whoa. Batman! The salty surprise was very good, though. Thank you. That was very clever. It's gotta be random. It's gotta Fuck. be random. I have three still. I have four now. Three! Two! Five, five. Six. I think you're talking about six. Right no, One, two, three, six. four, five. He's in six. Ran up. Damn Batman, it! Batman wins. Well, we are shamed. Wow. Oh, sad. <laughs> That's depressing. That is depressing. <laughs> but if you guys vote on this, we might defeat Rando next time. <laughs> yes, defeat there Rando. will be a comeback. That better be the title of it. The defeat revenge. Rando. The re <laughs> revenge Don't against Rando. Comeback. Rando's Don't. revenge. <laughs> Only if he beats us. Oh. Or since he's Batman, it'll just be Batman Returns. Oh! Yeah. No. <laughs> they can't see the, the table, though. They don't know the thoughts. Oh. This is why we kept calling him Batman the yes. entire time. It is a Lego Batman head chocolate filler. Yeah, we it's from Loot Crate. So. We assigned to be a placeholder for yeah. Rando. <laughs> Lovely. Scowling at us. So judging. I know. Judging. Oh, yeah. Hope you well, all. We hope you guys enjoyed this game night. Uh, stay tuned for the next board game or electrified board game night voting for what we will be doing next. Here's some more collaborations to come. And we'll see you guys later. See you in the next video. See you later.